Good afternoon. It's part Radiothon and part Adopt-a-thon. The donations pour into the organization. Pets are pouring out of the doors with new families right here in Western New York. Dallas, Texas is a long way away from Buffalo, New York, but there are a lot of diehard Sabres fans here. And the really brave yogis like to come practice with Marie Phillips. She brought SUP Yoga to Buffalo last year, and this year you brought it to Canal Side. Who would have thought that we would be doing yoga under the skyway in downtown Buffalo on the water? One of them right here who we have to break away from hugging all of his old friends at the <laughs> arena is former Sabres captain Danny Breer. Welcome back to town. Congratulations you. on your retirement. How are you? I'm doing great. We are here with Coach Sean McDermott. Are you ready to answer 20 questions? I am ready to go. Here we go. That has changed since Captain McDonald first started steering the ship. 27 years ago, no one brought smartphones or selfie sticks on board. Yeah, Brittany, this has been a really fun morning to be broadcasting live from the 97 Rock Studios. We have Larry Norton with us. You were at the show on Saturday. That's what great. is your review? It was awesome. Back room right now, we have Zach Bogosian with us. Zach, haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, I got so now I'm really going to play the West to win. How, how many tickets can I win here, sir? A thousand tickets are up for grabs. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, we have 15 seconds left here. Can we do a dynamic slide board Absolutely. workout? What should, what should so I do to demonstrate just here? Just loading off of that one leg, all right. being able to push lateral and try to slide all the way across, nice and mobile, good. <laughs> so we got that opposite arm, opposite leg going, even with the microphone in your hand, you're all doing right. awesome. All right, that's right. And just See, building I learned that something from strength. hanging out at the ring so much. We're here right now with the head equipment manager for the Buffalo Sabres, Dave Williams. Dave, you have a helmet in your hand right now. Part of what you do is protecting our players, making sure they're safe out on the ice. So we're gonna have to find a way to stay warm in the cold if you come out in between 11 and three tomorrow. We have Director of Fun Leslie Zemski here to tell us more. According to your Instagram, you pretty much won the summer. Nothing better to celebrate headed into the new year than a baby polar bear. We will join you from another section of the Buffalo Zoo in about half an hour. Well, I'm telling you, if you and your family did not make it out of town for spring break, this is the place to come. It is full of these gorgeous spring flowers and palm trees, by the way. You don't see power boats like this one every day, but you will see more than 100 of them this weekend along our waterfront. It's Grover and Elmo for being here today because we are right in the middle of rush hour and there's a lot of traffic to report, so we have a lot of work to do, so I'm so lucky that I have a couple extra hands today. And now it is really foggy. Did you guys see the fog on your way in? It is foggy out there. Your dad, Aubrey. Dada. Dada? Do you know his name? I do. What is your dad's name? Again. 50 characters from 16 of your favorite Disney stories, and there's another performance tonight here at First Niagara Center. We'll see you at 810 with another member of the cast. For now, reporting live, Lauren Hall, News 4, Wake Up. The Sabres and the New York 529 College Savings Program teamed up for the Junior Reporter Series again this year, and kicking things off is nine-year-old Grace Bamrick. Why, Grace, did you want to be one of our junior reporters? I just say that I might be one of the biggest Sabres fan that I could ever be. And this is actually a dream come true for me. And now that I'm here, it's awesome. Well, you're going to have a really special day here today. So we're at Harbor Center right now. The team is skating on the other rink. We're going to go watch some of their practice over there. And then we're going to go down in the locker room and do your interviews, OK? Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, let's go. Have you ever watched a Sabres practice? No. This will be your first time? Yeah. All right, so I start in this rink. Samus Gergensen's right there. <laughs> so what players out there do you recognize? All of them. <laughs> like, tell me which ones you see right now. I see Jack Eichel, Sam Reinhardt, Scott Wilson, Casey Nelson, Evan Rodriguez, how do you know the roster so well? Do you study it? Just from watching all the games. So this is your thing? This is my thing to do. So yeah, they're skating pretty fast, huh? Yeah, really fast. <laughs> you could hear the sticks and everything and all the shouting. Did you think it would be like this, up close? No. <laughs> Hi guys, this is our junior reporter today. This is Grace. Grace, pleasure to meet you. My name's Jason. Hi. You doing all right today? Yeah. I like the jersey. Thanks. They're really good. Hi, Rasmus. Hi, Jack. Hi. That was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. This is called Hockey Hallway. See, like, there's, see the ice out there? Oh. 
<laughs> That's a goal horn for you. So this is the bench. This is the Sabres bench. All alone, nobody here. <laughs> Just for you. What are some of the questions that you're hoping to ask in your interviews today? My number one question is, what was the first thing you bought with your first ever sign in the NHL? Probably a vacation to, to Hawaii was, was the first thing I did. Um, my brother, when one of my brothers bought a jet ski a couple years ago when he signed, so been able to use that. Who's your best bud on the team? Jack. He's staring at me. <laughs> I think we spend a lot of time together. We, we see each other every morning when we wake up, so. No, we don't. I always leave before he wakes up. <laughs> when you get hangry, what action figure would you best describe you? When I get hangry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if I'm hangry, I don't think I'm, I'm acting like any superhero, to be honest. <laughs> He just gets really fidgety. <laughs> he doesn't talk. He just walks around and asks me if I'm ready to go yet. I really want a stick sign because this one question is, what's the most amount of sticks you've gone through in a game? But my mom said, do this. Speaking of sticks, do you give sticks out to cute kids like me? <laughs> so do you think you're going to do that? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> have to do it now. I have to do it now, <laughs> yeah. If they ask nicely, yes, I do. <laughs> What was your favorite part? My favorite part was probably giving the questions to them. The experience, it's a once in a lifetime. Well, you did an awesome job and there's only one thing left to do and that's your sign off. So are you ready? Yeah. Reporting from Key Bank Center, I'm Grace Bammer, back to you. News Force Lauren Hall joins us now with more on how they will mark a really important milestone over the weekend. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. The anchor of Buffalo's Theater District has been drawing visitors downtown since long before Canal Side Harbor Center and other new attractions even existed. A trip there is usually a special occasion for members of the audience, and that's exactly what will be taking place there this weekend. With its grand lobby and dazzling marquees, Shea's Performing Arts Center is one of Buffalo's most recognizable and beloved landmarks. To celebrate its 90th anniversary this weekend, the theater will go back to its movie house roots and show a silent film. The presentation of Sherlock Holmes will feature live music on the original Wurlitzer organ. Shays first opened its doors in 1926, and the first crowds of theater goers gasped when they saw the inside. 90 years later, not much has changed. They walk in and their jaw drops. And if you stand on the stairs on the grand staircase and watch people come in, even for a show, uh, you know, it, as they're coming in the first time, you can pick out the people who've never been in the building before. Because they walk in, they take two or three steps, and they go, and they just stand there. <laughs> Shea's president, Tony Conti, will retire at the end of this season, but he is leaving the theater in some of the best shape of its life. It was in disrepair and in danger of closing back in the 70s, but now a massive restoration project is almost complete and ticket sales couldn't be better. No longer a place for silent films, the box office success at Shea's is built on live theater these days. Buffalo is one of the top markets for touring Broadway shows like Pippin, which will be here later this month. We're in a position uh, where they know that we not only have a high season ticket base, but we sell a lot of single tickets as well. So they know if they come to Buffalo, it'll be a success. Tickets for another upcoming show, Dirty Dancing, are already getting scarce, and that one doesn't even come until May. Ninety years old, and this place is enjoying the time of its life. I've heard it called the wow factor, but whatever you want to call it, when people walk out the door, they say, what a great experience, I want to go back. And that's what we want. We want people to always want to come back to Shays. The Sherlock Holmes showing on Sunday begins at 2 p.m. We will post ticket information under the Founded on 4 section of WIVB.com. And coming up during the 7 and 8 o'clock hours of Wake Up on the CW23, we'll take you live inside the theater for a further look behind the scenes at the results of that recent restoration. Lauren Hall, News 4 Wake Up. So neat to see everything that's going on down there, Lauren. Thank you.